All right, this is Cisco Cracker, and I'm going to go ahead and describe this um, latest piece I'm putting together, all the parts that's involved here. So what this amounts to is a, um, a lot of PVC. You got a T fitting. There's a clean out down here on the very end, uh, which will have a plug in it, and that's where the carbon rod's going to live. There will be a, another tube here attached that has. Uh, the stainless steel wire in it, which is uh, electric fence wire. It's being used as the positive um, plate, so to speak. And up here on this end is where I've got it reduced down to where I can hook a uh, quarter inch pipe, which will have my uh, pressure gauge and a ball valve. I've got a regulator there, so if I do get the kind of output I'm looking for, I will be able to pipe it off to this um, 16 gauge uh, stainless steel needle. It's a horse uh, needle syringe. Um, that'll be used to actually run into the intake of my generator that used to run gasoline which now has the carburetor removed from it. I will be uh, running it on hydrogen hopefully before a whole lot longer. So um, what I was able to prove in the previous videos with the um, stainless steel mesh screen and the uh, carbon rod was that depending on how much um, negative plate you have exposed in the water compared to the positive uh, it varies on what voltage is required and how much plasma you can get so this piece is completely full this is 18 inch cut piece with a cap on the end of it and this is completely full I mean it is packed all the way up in there with that electric fence wire that stainless wire and then I've run screws through on the outside to keep it from popping out of the end of this thing because that's how compressed it is. I mean it would shoot out like a slinky, you know. So um, this end is going to get attached here and protrude out this way. The other end of the T where this clean out is is where this cap will go and that's got my carbon rod. Um, just got a little bit of a silicone, a little puck of uh, wood it's part of a wooden stake you drive in the ground. Um, and then I've drilled a hole and I've got a little screw poking out the back side of this thing here that directly touches the carbon rod inside. And this is set up and cured long enough it should be good. So uh, the idea is to uh, finalize this connection with uh, PVC cement onto here. I'm going to give it about uh, 30 minutes or so. And then I'm um, going to close this end up with the uh, ball valve that I was just showing and then I'll fill it with water from this end up to uh, leaving it sitting at an angle though so that there is a, a, some room for a, a head of air um, and then what I'll do is put the cap on and then flip the thing the other way around so this will be the top poking straight up in the air and um, I should be able to measure uh, the pressure going up over a period of time and calculate based on how much uh, volume I have I'll know um, how much uh, gas I was able to produce so that's the unit I'll get it together and then I'll have another uh, video with it running